So my name is Robert Zinna, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about weapons. Many animals have weapons. Deer have elaborate antlers on their head, male fiddler crabs have enlarged claws, and beetles such as these sport a stunning array of horn types. In all cases, these weapons have evolved through a process known as sexual selection, which pits males in one-on-one -on -one contests over reproductive access to females. These contests drive these weapons to exaggerated sizes because when it comes to fighting, bigger is always better. However, what I've just described is why these weapons have evolved and not how they've evolved. Or to put it another way, I've described why they exist but not how they're built. It turns out that the final weapon size in these animals is largely determined by how healthy an organism is. That is, males who receive much more nutrition as juveniles tend to grow much larger weapons as adults. My research uses the Asian rhinoceros beetle in the middle to investigate which genes are initially used to build a weapon, how hormonal signals influence the activity of those genes, how those hormonal signals themselves are affected by nutrition condition, and how ultimately all of these factors combine to evolve and develop these gigantic horns. What I've discovered is that these weapons are built using existing genes. For example, genes that were initially used to grow a leg have been reused to grow these elaborate head horns. The interesting part is that these genes, these leg genes, are not affected by changes in nutrition. If you turn off these leg genes, the horn changes shape but stays the overall same size. On the other hand, if you interrupt the activity of hormones, such as insulin, you get the opposite effect. The horn becomes smaller, but stays the same shape. The cool thing, though, is that this story seems to hold true across different animals. In other beetle species, leg genes are linked to these insulin hormones to develop their weapons. Most excitingly is that in animals as different from beetles as deer, you see the same pattern. Deer use existing leg genes, combine them with insulin signaling in order to grow their massive antlers. And what this suggests is that over evolutionary time, sexual selection has used this very simple mechanism of linking genes together to develop this vast array of weapon types. And what this means is that over evolutionary time, my research shows that, as Darwin put it, there's a very simple way to evolve these wonderful and beautiful forms from this war of nature. And it turns out that the answer is as simple as using what was already there. Thank you for your time.